How to Troubleshoot Captive Portal Authentication Failure The following are possible symptoms of Captive Portal Authentication Failure. First, the Authentication Portal page does not pop up. Second, the Authentication Credential, Voucher Slash Account, has expired or user traffic has exceeded the threshold, but the client can still be authenticated through the portal. Third, after a client is connected to the SSID, the portal page displays fail to find the network. Fourth, the authenticated client failed to be seamlessly re-authenticated. Possible causes of captive portal authentication failure are as follows. This video provides solutions for each of the four types of failures. For abnormal pop-up of the portal page, after verifying that the network configuration is correct in both Wegia Cloud and the authentication device, please follow the steps below to troubleshoot this issue. First, go to the client's Wi-Fi settings page and click the Wi-Fi icon to check if the client has obtained an IP address. If an IP address is not obtained, click Configure IP to check the client's the IP address allocation method. If it is not set to automatic, please set it to automatic to ensure that the client's IP address is obtained through DHCP. Second, after verifying that both the client and authentication device's network settings are correct, please go to the client's Wi-Fi settings page and manually set the DNS address to 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Third, if the authentication page does not pop up for all clients, please check if the client has access to the site and if the client can ping portal.wagenetworks.com. Fourth, if only some clients can't get the portal page, please open the browser, manually enter http colon slash slash 1.1.1.1 to check whether the portal page pops up. Fifth, if the portal page does not pop up, please choose settings browser and check if the block pop-up switch is toggled on. When toggled on, it can block the pop-up of the portal page. If the authentication credential, voucher slash account, has expired or the user traffic has exceeded the threshold, but the client can still be authenticated through the portal, please follow the steps below to troubleshoot this issue. First, please wait one minute because the AP will send the traffic log to the cloud server every one minute. Second, log into Wagia Cloud, choose Project Devices, select a device and click Web CLI to check the running configuration. If the command in the red box is missing, please add it manually or upgrade the device to the latest version. Third, if you are unable to view the Web CLI of a REE device, you can access Wagia Cloud and choose Project Configuration Auth and Accounts User Management. Check if the authenticated account or voucher is bound to the incorrect user group. Different user groups can have different authentication parameters, such as internet access duration, data packages, and internet speed. Also, ensure that the device is upgraded to the latest version to resolve the issue of expired account being usable. Please note that data quota is not supported to be synchronized to REE EG and Wagia EG device. In addition, the captive portal has other restrictions. For details, please visit the following website. If the portal page displays fail to find the network after a client is connected to the SSID, and the client is unable to connect to the network, please follow the below steps to troubleshoot this issue. First, choose Configuration Auth and Accounts Captive Portal to check if the Captive Portal configuration is correct and verify that the SSID slash networks associated with the portal page exist. Second, please try change some SSID configurations that don't affect the wireless user experience and apply the changes to the device. For example, you can log into Wagia Cloud, choose Configuration Devices Wireless SSID, select the SSID associated with the captive portal, click Edit to modify the network configuration. Expand the advanced settings, enable the 5G prior access feature, then disable it, and click OK. If the authenticated client fails to be seamlessly re-authenticated, 
please follow the below steps to troubleshoot this issue. First, upgrade the firmware version to the latest version. Second, access the Wi-Fi settings page on the client and disable the private WLAN address feature. Third, log into Ruegia Cloud, choose Project Clients. Verify that the MAC address shown on Ruegia Cloud and local device is same and correct. Fourth, choose Project Configuration Auth and Accounts Captive Portal, and verify that Seamless Online Period and Seamless Online Settings in the Captive Portal page are correctly configured. If the issue persists, you can collect the device information, such as the version and configurations of the device, and contact our technical support team by visiting. Please visit the following website. To follow this issue, comment on our video or send an email to us. See you in the next video.